that's all right. I'm going to be right back. Um, I don't know why it's giving me the black bars around the corner. I got to hit the setting right now. I got to fix it. So, all right. Jump right back into it. We, got, we are playing Cyberpunk. Continue. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale? Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Ooh, man, that that is insensitive. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? President Myers, I mean, of course. <laughs> Gotta respect the office. Anywho. Pickies, Brian, is that old Ripper? Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kitten caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? <laughs> Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. Let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Roshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. so far.
Mark 1, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play-by-play, play, though? <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem, 
should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. Yo, and I once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. I love this. Seriously. Guard up, you idiot. looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. What are you checking hey, out? Listen, I've got yeah, this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. But now that's probably not that. news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate you before Max Tech hits the scene. But remember, Watch you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? First place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Hang on. Got a question of my own, though. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped his brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. 
I knew it wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leave you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, cause Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's a prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Blood Banner. What's the thing? Uh, guys over the bed. One more thing, Miss V. Scotty, we can look at the Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Uh, hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally at nine, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick, hostile takeover. Well, it sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. 
Think I ought to see her first. Seeing what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Okay. What do you want? Got a rat problem on my block. Who doesn't, right? Thing is, these rats are human-sized. Look just like tiger claws, too. Biggest one is a certain Taki Kinmochi. So do your fixer a solid and neutralize her ass, will ya? Deeds attached.
Watch out. You uh, want something, Chum? Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Kiss my dead spunk! Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a Nothing's wrong. girl like really? you do for us? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew at my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. 
By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Mm, yeah, no. How to my price range? Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like you are Nobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? What? No. Would you it's hard to it can say. be a very like useful sure, tool. Okay? Good for yeah, 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 analyzing yeah. details, all right, all right, human perception, right. even mm -hmm. boosted. Doesn't mm -hmm. all right. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Uh -huh. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. Mm -hmm. But she's a mox. Yeah, yeah, Not the latest it. member of
of your crew. I'm trying not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread right, lightly, Mom. and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. That'll make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD, yes. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? I think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now, let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. See you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. 
you'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene the orbs. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. You can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Flat simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in... Snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Got it, got it. Rewind, Wait, roll it back to the top. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. But That's... Simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. move on. Now heads up, in analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. A six case of bro tip and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on two flavors Cody and yeah, Serpent. Everybody! Oh. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Really cool. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa, yeah, hey, hey, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it.
his own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I. Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when. <sighs> yeah. Think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here. What well, I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Conpecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Conpecky? Oh, I thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay. Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Let's see this. All right, B. Eyes open. Gotta find out where your note was keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for good cause. But, uh... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. We'll listen to this. Sabro is an adult despot. Wow. Champagne's Utterly decent. Removed from the taste boosted somehow? Stuck in nope. some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Not it. In a hmm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Get on. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard 
who thinks nothing will change, and he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Noted. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Mm, it wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment, it will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sack. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. What love is I know, I know. Hey. For the perfect thing. If her. Very nice. Look how ready. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. What love is I like the feeling. Ah. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Nice stuff. Vision of a world if the house of must be stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. That's it. I need a minute to finish. Is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. We'll listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide right. them. In a Heard that? Relic docks got to be around here somewhere. Look for them. Uh, honey. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business.
Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Waiting for me to grow more. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. On this yacht. and cooling servers gotta be fancy doodads in here need to be controlled I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks... My father's a tired, visionless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change. And he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? Is it his? I'm okay. Just Oh, got any candy left? Step was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. What love is Until you learn the meaning of the meaning of the love Until you learn the meaning
details a special tip control container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Donaghy's. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun. I love for you to hear from so fast. Only one. Focus. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Big one. No dip. That's I love you pretty fun last time. Big one. Nightstand. I've got an idea. I'm here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Oh, 
Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Good one. Nice stuff. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sack. Looking for the perfect thing. Uh... doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for good cause. But uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing's going to... My father's a tie. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash and your data. You were never here.
keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. Then it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance at that ship without that buy. To work then, Miss V.
second, guys. trying to get this all organized and scattered up so um, first off I'll be rerouting so what I'm going to do is sorry about that I'm going to try and get back get this charged and be back by you tomorrow morning 30 in the morning so we could do that and I'll go on for a longer stream I'll probably be here for a longer stream tomorrow pick up where we started if anything um, play some Fortnite and then jump back onto this or vice versa so Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.